Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 uh, abstract science fiction um, anthology film Under Gods, a film that is written and directed by uh, Chino Moya and it stars Jonathan Myers, Geza Rohig, Michael Gould, uh, Hayley Carmichael, Ned Dennehy and Eric Gordon. Now, how to describe this film this film doesn't kind of follow its own rules it's like a series of tales connected in very weird unsuspecting ways that kind of give us the, a look at a weird dystopian future with real tangible um, um, reflection on current society if you like it's, it's a really um, surreal film to watch in many many ways it doesn't follow um, its own rules you know it like I say it, it 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 feels like it's trying to be an anthology film but then um, it doesn't really follow them rules not really um, and it's 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 not an easy film to describe basically first of all I want to say here but I thought all the performances here were absolutely fantastic in this film Really good performances by everybody involved. Um, weird and wonderful performances by some. And the film essentially follows, like I say, a series of tales. Um, not really even tales. It's very hard to categorise this film. Um, so essentially you've got some kind of story where... Um, there is a neighbour knocks on someone's door. He can't get into his flat. They show him some, hospi ho uh, some hospitality. Invite him in. Let him stay in their flat for a while. And he kind of takes over. Um, to some degree. And it gets more and more comfortable. Um, as that story goes on. The flat becomes more and more uh, untidy. The relationships start breaking down. Um, and it's a bit of an odd one. The next one was even odder, I suppose. Um, there is a guy who was given a proposition by someone who has invented something really special. Um, the guy knows it's really special, but plays it cool. Takes it, um, kind of steals it from under this guy's nose. The guy isn't happy about it, so takes his daughter. So far, so predictable, I guess you could say. And then... Uh, it all gets a bit weird they kind of fall into this other world um, and him and somebody else are kind of taken to be used as slave labour in this dystopian future and this is all where it starts getting really abstract and a bit weird um, there is this like I said this dystopian future that is interlinked with our society um, where humans are harvested for slavery and things like that. Um, yeah. And the final tale is linked directly to this dystopian future where someone is given a final reprieve, sent back home so he comes back into our society, a completely and utterly changed man that causes chaos to this ordinary family as the wife of this guy thought he died 15 years ago moved on remarried etc etc uh, but the guy didn't die or, um, he just went missing uh, and went and you know was taken to this like weird dystopian um, other world place so you can see my problem here in regards to trying to explain this film rather it, it, it's not an easy film to explain um, it's it's a film that raises questions. It's a film that makes you question what you're watching. It's a film that doesn't follow the rules. Um, but I could not help being really quite interested and gripped to much of this film. Um, very f fascinating film to watch. Um, to see um, these humans almost under guinea pig like conditions. You know what I mean? Um, and. I'm not really sure who to recommend this one to. Um, anthology fans, I'm not sure will like it because it doesn't follow those kind of rules. Sci-fi fans, I'm not sure they'll fancy it because it 
doesn't really feel sci- very much sci-fi either um, it, I think those of you that like really weird abstract and different films will probably find a, quite a lot in this to enjoy um, but yeah it's a challenging watch but quite a rewarding watch at the same time so I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10 it's a film that interested me um, I found it fascinating um, I was always engaged but I can't honestly say I really enjoyed it either at the same time I enjoyed the technicality of how the film was made and all that kind of stuff but there were other aspects of it that I just found a little bit too surreal and a bit too abstract for my taste um, but I do applaud the filmmakers for making something different I always love to see something different on screen so thank you for watching everybody I hope you found the review useful of course I will be back with plenty more content on the channel very very soon mm-hmm.